Today I thought we'd uh, try out the Robert character, or rather the robot, or whatever. Yeah, the character's a robot, so, um, there's that. And before anybody asks about uh, the two black bars on the top and bottom of my screen, well, it's because my laptop is a 16x10 monitor, and that monitor format is not supported by this game. So that's kind of frustrating. So you're just gonna have to put up with the black bars uh, at the top and bottom of my screen. And there's really nothing I can do about that except hope the dev, uh, fixes that issue. Hmm, so I can either raise my maximum health by one, gain a little bit more damage, or attack speed. You know what? Let's try the whole, uh, perish by a thousand cut strategy. And I think that's what we're gonna be doing. Ooh, hey, more movement speed. Yoink! And here's our first, uh, mini-boss. Okay, let's just put you in range of the turret and ourselves and make sure you die, you die extra fast. Okay, so that's, uh, the mini-boss taken care of. So we can either get surprise attack, lucky belt, and faithful. I'll take the lucky belt for the 10% more experience from future and past coins. Yoink! Wee! Much more attack speed. Yoink! Okay, so what did that do for our attack speed? Um... Nothing for us, personally, but I'm pretty sure the turret is firing faster. Oh dear. It is what it is. Maybe I should've just taken the damage. Hmm... Speaking of which, let's get a little more attack speed. Yep, that turret is uh, definitely firing a bit faster, so um... As are we. So I guess that attack speed really did help out quite a bit. Ooh, hey, plus two dashes. Yoink. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let's finally start working on the critical chance and increase that by 5%, so that is now 10% for a crit critical strike. Yeah, sometimes I just uh, have a bit of a speech impediment uh, crop up from time to time, and um, sometimes words just don't work properly for me. And that's what's going on. Sometimes. Hmm. Other times it's just words not wording. Ooh, hey! I think I will take the more damage. Yoink! Hmm. I can either get a lot more attack speed, one more maximum health, two downs and of dashes and abilities are uh, reduced by 10%, and plus two dashes. I think I will yoink the attack speed, please, and thank you, game. Speaking of which, uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, why don't you just like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to this channel, and um, I think those help out with the uh, channel's odds and the algorithm, but I don't know if that's actually true. So who knows, maybe that's a science experiment we can all do together. Hmm. Right, so let's see now. Okay, a lot more attack speed. Yeah, the game seems to be uh, giving me a lot of attack speed lately, so yoink! I guess it really is gonna be an attack speed based run this time around. So, let's try the chest. Guided shots, um, running on fumes, heart hero landing, last pull. Hmm, let's see now. I think I will take the guided shots, cause that sounds like fun. Yoink! Cause that's just gonna target the closest uh, enemy, and that's gonna be pretty handy. Oh hey! Increased critical chance by 7%. Yoink! That has now brought us up to 17% critical chance, so, uh, yeah. That's pretty neat for, uh, our survival odds. Well, right now I'm just a Turk, uh, alongside my actual turret. Okay, I need to start dodging. And I just unlocked Legendary Warrior. 300 hits in the game, I think. Yep. Oh, hey, raise the range of your area of effect and pressure frames by 30%. I'll take that, thank you very much, so I can just pick things up from farther away, and that's always a handy. And there's a chest. Didn't realize there was a boss. And I meant to take the critical chance, but oh well, maybe next time. Or I could just take the, um, a lot more damage, which, uh, seems to be a bit more beneficial to me right now, so, yoink. And that has brought us up to 95, uh, damage per base shot. And let's see what's in this here chest. Treats on the house, manatized horseshoes, running on fumes, mezcal mantle. Hmm, I'll take the drinks on the house. That sounds handy for me. 
So, um, it should, uh, be far less accurate, which is, uh, great news if I wanted to be a turret. And, you know what, uh, you know what else is great news? This year, projectile bounce, uh, one more time. I'll take that, thank you very much. Hmm. You know what, I think I'll take the critical, uh, chance increase by 5%, so that has brought us up to 22% crit chance, so that's pretty good. Right, so I either have critical damage, uh, increases by 75%, a little more attack speed, shots piercing one more enemy, or any of effect and crit range is increased by 40%. I think I'll take the shots pierce one, one more enemy. Please and thank you, game. Hmm. What's my crit chance? Uh, 22%, uh, more attack speed, a little more damage, or plus two dashes. You know what? I think I'm gonna, just gonna take the dashes. So, yoink. And here comes the sheriff. And that's gonna try and uh, put me down, and it's simple Tom. So, just uh, keep the sheriff in range of the turret at all times. And, uh, yeah, that turret is, uh, dealing significant damage to the sheriff, so I guess I just have to stay around the, uh, turret. And if I just sit here, uh, then the sheriff can't do anything about it. From what I noticed. Yep. Okay, now Simple Tom is, uh, heading my way. So, it just, uh, rolls back and forth, so, um, it's not an issue for me. Just to stay out of the way of the, uh, bullets. And let's just destroy this here, uh, Sheriff. And yep, rip Simple Tom. So let's see what's in the chest. Dancing daggers. Steam boots. Emergency kit. Three is a magic number. Let's play around with the dancing daggers this time around, because uh, I haven't uh, used that upgrade yet. All stationary shot stats, two knives, but attack speed is reduced by 50% when you move, but you unlock, you unleash your stats, knives, with 50% attack speed. Let's play around with that one. Hmm. And let's also remember to stay around the turret. I wonder if you actually get to re redeploy that turret anywhere. Because, uh, survey says, um, not really. And that's a bummer. Hmm. One more mad south. Pick up range and area of effect is increased by another 30%. 75% more damage for critical hits or much more damage. I think I'm just gonna take the much more damage, please, and thank you, game. So that has brought us up to 125 uh, base damage per hit per shot, so that's pretty good. And oh, hey, here's a mini boss. Let's see how quickly we can just uh, ride the mini boss. And, um, pretty fast, apparently. Because I think I just created a monster. So we have either Swift Bullets, uh, Running on Fuse, Mezcal Mantle, or Parting Gift. Let's, uh, play around with the Swift Bullets, because each of your projectile moves between 30 and 75, oh, bam, 70% faster. Sounds like it would be pretty fun for me. Yoink! Because it mean it would get to the enemy faster, so I guess, uh, that's a good thing for me. Hmm, a little more damage, a little more intense speed. Pickup range and area of effect goes up by 40%, or reduced uh, cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 15%. I think I'll take that one, please. So yeah, my dashes and abilities should uh, cool down uh, 20, well, 15% more faster. Yeah, it's uh, 83% on the cooldown timer, so that's good. Okay, let's see now. Area of effect and pressure range goes up by 30%, a little more attack speed, a little more damage, or more movement speed. Let's try the movement speed, actually. So, yoink. And oh, hey, here's the sheriff. And, um, that's a lethal shot, in fact. Uh, 5,000 critical hits in total. Okay, there goes the deputy. And let's see what he did. Bed Bertha, Team Boots, Quartz Through Bullet, Air Thunder Dance. You know, let's uh, go with the Thunder Dance. Yoink! So let's see, a little more intense speed, a lot more damage. Any of effect in Petrop range is increased by 20%. Cooldowns, uh, um, dashes and abilities by 10% is reduced. 
by 10%, I mean, I think it'll take a lot more damage. And that has brought us up to 145 uh, shots per, uh, well, damage per hit. So, um, yeah. Another nice thing about uh, having that turret there is that it actually helps build up the uh, knives, I think. And, um, yeah. I think the uh, whole uh, knives thing uh, was a good choice. Hmm. Let's see now. Yeah, it was the Dancing Daggers. So I guess I got a title idea for this uh, video. 100% more damage to critical hits, uh, one more max health, a little more damage, or plus two dashes. I think I'll uh, take the critical uh, damage goes up by 100%. Please and thank you, game. Yoink. Oh, hey, here's a mini boss. Let's rock the mini boss. And there goes a the mini boss. Ethereal Flame! Oh hey, it spawns an invincible minion that pits up coins for you. It moves 24% slower than you and inflicts half of your damage when it collides with an enemy. That sounds like, uh, you. Um, that sounds like it should, it should be very handy. Yoink! And now I can just sit here and just stand perfectly still and have somebody else uh, pick up all the coins, which are XP. And that's pretty useful, so I don't have to do anything anymore. So I can get either plus two dashes, maximum health goes up by one, more movement speed, or 75% more damage to critical hits. I'm going to take the movement speed. So, yoink. Because seriously, look at how fast those uh, lightning bolts are firing off right now, so that's also pretty handy. Hmm, more attack speed. More critical uh, chance, uh... By 5%, 100% uh, more damage to critical hits, or a little more damage. I think I'm just gonna take the critical uh, hits, deal 100% more damage, so, um... Yoink! Mmm, and then it uh, means we do 400% more crit uh, damage on critical hits, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a 580. So, that's a big fat yikes. I guess that's why you've been absolutely wrecking me, uh deputies that have been uh, coming our way. Oh hey, here's a deputy. Let's see how fast we can ride the deputy. And it's already almost a uh, quarter dead. A little more damage. More critical uh, chance by 5%. A little more uh, attack speed or max health goes up by 1. I think I'm gonna get the critical chance uh, goes up by 5%. So now that is 27%. Uh, and, um, yeah, look at that deputy get wrecked. And there goes the deputy. And now the enemies are throwing uh, dynamite at me, and I don't think I appreciated that. So, let's see now. Intimidating reward. Crown magnet. Magnetized horseshoe. Guarding systems. Always target deputies. Uh, I think I'm gonna take that one. Yoink. And I have a guarding system. So, deputies are always gonna get targeted first before anything else. So that's pretty good for me. Hmm... Increased chance of critical hits goes up by 5%. A little more intense speed. Area of effect and critical frames goes up by 20%. Or 75% more damage to critical hits. I think I'm just gonna go uh, with the critical chance increased by 5%. So, yoink! That, is, that has brought us up to now 32% critical chances. So, um, that's a whole lot more DPS. And that's a good news for me. And I just have to stay on my feet and stay out of the way of the uh, dynamite. But luckily that's uh, pretty easy to do with the uh, movement speed that we currently have. And that's a good thing for us. Okay, here's the sheriff. And we are right next to the turret, so that's pretty good. And it's Crazy Denzel, and it, that's a dynamite uh, one. Yep, Crazy Denzel is the one that throws all the dynamite at you. A little more damage. More critical uh, chance increase by 7%. Max health goes up by 2, plus 2 dashes. I'll take the critical uh, chance increase, so yoink. That has brought us up to 39. And yeah, every other hit should be a uh, critical hit. They're about saying, look at that health bar rapidly go down. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it really has uh, been a death by a thousand cuts run right now. So let's see what's in the chest. 
Red Dice Rush, Pistol Rain, Steam Boots, or 180 No Stroke. You know what? I'm gonna play around with the 180 No Stroke. So, um, thank you, game. And yeah, the 180 No Stroke is uh, actually helping the uh, stockpile knives uh, for when you move around, so that's also something to note. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, here's the sheriff. Let's uh, watch it get destroyed. And there goes the sheriff, even though that's a rat. Actually, a deputy, not a sheriff. Oh well, it's a mini boss. Mental Mento, Inner Strength, Lucky Star, Warning Shots. Hmm. Let's play around with the Warning Shots since I don't think I've used that upgrade before, so let's play around with it and see how it is. Even though I think we're just dealing way too much damage uh, for it to be actually useful. And let's get 7% more critical chance, so yoink. And that has brought us up to 46% critical chance, so, um, yeah. And we have the shot, uh, now, basically. Hmm. So, since so we're, uh, actually shooting behind us, so, uh, I wonder if that's influenced by the critical, critical chance. Should be. But, uh, hmm. Maybe that requires more testing. Or a more observant player. Or just an observant viewer to just tell me, uh, what that's, uh, like right now. Oh, hey, another deputy. Let's rock it. And there goes the deputy. Yeah. I guess the deputies are having a hard time this run. Lucky Star, Reckless Rush, Party Death, or Last Pull. So that just attracts all collectibles on the screen upon taking damage. Let's just grab that one. Yoink. So let's see what we have uh, now. A little more attack speed. Shots pierce through one more enemy. Uh, a little more critical damage uh, chance, and that goes up by 7% for the crit chance. Or a little, little more damage. I think I will take the piercing shots uh, and go through one more enemy. So, yoink! So, um, yeah, that's what I took. So, let's see now. Hmm. What, is, what else do I need? I guess just more critical chance and more critical damage. And just to stay around the uh, turret. Because I think that might be uh, vital to my uh, whole strategy to stay alive in this run. Oh, hey, more critical uh, chance, and that's increased by 7%, so yoink. And that is taking us up to 53% uh, percent critical chance, so that's pretty good. That's a little over half the shots would be critical uh, hit, so um, that's proving to be correct so far. Oh, hey, here's a deputy. Let's try the deputy and see how quickly we can just uh, destroy the deputy. Assuming we don't end up uh, taking the bucket due to the smaller enemies. And oh hey, it's dead. How oh, sad. Proud Bandit, Bullet Storm, Intimidating Reward, True Savior, oh, True Survivor, I mean. Permanently gain 10% attack speed every 120 seconds, uh, but we set the progression each time we take damage. That's 30% attack speed. Let's go play around with True Survivor. Yoink! Oh, hey, more critical chance and in, uh, increase of uh, 7%, so I think I'm just gonna take that one. And now the critical chance is 60%. I wanna see if I can get that all the way up to 100% and just uh, start rapidly increasing the base damage uh, that I'd be doing. And I just uh, reset the True Survivor, didn't I? So let's just stay on the feet. Oh, stay on our feet. And I just walked right into that bullet. So, um, that wasn't good. But hey, at least I didn't, uh, get, uh, one hit KO'd, uh, with that one. So that's it. An instant healed. So I guess that's the benefit of having all these hearts on the floor. Is you just instant heal whenever you have the Ethereal Flame, uh, near them. So yeah, that's why you get the Ethereal Flame. One with all this here movement speed, because, uh, the lightning, uh, one is firing off all the time, now that I'm moving around. Since I can just move faster than, uh, what the ability requires normally. And that's, uh, four meters, uh, per, uh, mining strike. And, oh hey, there was a deputy there. Hmm. Let's see what you have. Hero landing, farsight, magnetized horseshoe, force through bullet. Hmm. Let's take the torch through bullet. That sounds like fun, for me. So, yoink. So, um, yeah. That takes care of that one. Hmm. Even the fat and Petra Brains in its blue. 
movement speed, uh, which is blue, cat speed, and critical, and are both, uh, common, so, um... You know, straight I'll take the movement speed, please. Going, and that is down up to 5.3 movement speed. So, um, the lightning strikes are firing off even faster now, so that's good. Or attack speed, plus two dashes, maximum health goes up by one, or shots pierce through one more enemy. I'll take the last one, please, and thank you, so my shot should pierce through one more enemy. And, um, so far it is, so that's four piercing and one bounce, so, um, that's pretty good. And here comes the sheriff, let's see how fast we can ride the sheriff. Okay, so it's the Undertaker, and, um, so far we're just completely riding the Undertaker. So, um, that's nice. We can just run rings around it, and just get through this first form, and, uh... Hopefully just stay alive, and remember if I'm recording properly, which I am. Okay, that's the first form, and um, that was pretty quick. Let's do the same thing to the second form. Because uh, I should be able to just uh, dodge it bullets, so, like so. And just uh, stay moving so I can keep unleashing my lightnings ability, and just keep it near the uh, turret so it's always firing at the boss, the turret I mean. Ow, didn't mean to do that. Okay, time to dodge all the bullets. And we're doing that successfully. Hmm. Alright, so time to dodge all the horses, and the bullets, and um, hmm. Well, the second form isn't uh, dying as quick as the first form, but no, oh well, I guess that's to be expected since it's a second form boss. And those are usually stronger than the first form. Funny how that works out. So, let's see now. Right, so just time to dodge it like so. And try not to get hit this time around because I have yet to see the true survivor ability kick in. And there goes the boss. And that's a victory! Let's see how far I can go. Uh, after I submit storm. And continue. So, let's see, Legendary Warrior, Lethal Shot. Science prevails. Walking towards danger. Way the Dungeon Beast. When a day might have picking up drinks on the house. And moving on to endless mode. Yep, we're gonna see how far we can take this one. Bowdun, Nitro Crit, Rattus Rush, Pawn. Bowdun, standing still gradually increases your attack speed until you move again. Match uh, bonus times two after 10 seconds. That sounds like fun. I'll take Bowdun, please. So let's just stand right uh, here. And just let everything just build up. Naturally. Because, um, yeah, I guess this is the build we're going with. Hmm. And also remember to dodge a dynamite and the bullets. And just try not to get hit by any of them. Hmm. A little more damage, uh, 75% more critical damage, a little more attack speed, and a little more critical chance. We're at 60%, uh, let's go up to 65. Uh, percent critical uh, chance, and here's a mini boss. And um, let's see how fast a mini boss is. Right, though, it's dead. Outside. Mr. Mental, Proud Magnet, Inner Strength, Parting Gift. Um, I'll take the Proud Magnet. Yoink, even though that's pretty much useless with the Ethereal uh, Flame. Basically, yeah, it is useless with the Ethereal Flame uh, picking up the slack. Well, the non-existent slant, that is. Oh, hey, another deputy. Let's see how fast that we can wreck it now. Right after we did a lot more damage, so yoink. And that has brought us up to 165 base damage, and uh, we're potentially doing 700 uh, per hit. Yeah, I'm seeing 700. That's pretty handy, and uh, my guess the deputies have gotten stronger. But they're still dead, so, um, yeah. Running on fields, far side, tumbleweed. Bronze loaded die. I'm thinking tumbleweed. Yoink. 
And let's try not to walk into enemies and see how far we can actually keep this build running. Hmm, a little more attack speed, a lot more damage, uh... Charge build chance goes up by 5%, or more movement speed. I'll take a lot more damage, please, and thank you, because I think that's what we actually need, considering how much damage we're actually taking, and that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, oh well. Oh hey, here's a deputy. And, um, hmm. Well, at least I can say that I actually beat the game, and made it to endless mode. So, um, yeah, that was how far I got as Robert first try. So, let me know if you can make it any further than I can. And if you want to support the channel, there'll be a link to my profile in, in the description below, where you can, uh, just, uh, get into the channel if you happen to have a spare dollar on you. Either once or monthly. Either one works. And if you do it monthly, you get your name on the credit screen. And, um, yeah. There's also a link to my laptop if you want, if you want to, uh, see what laptop I'm using. And if, and if you, uh, want to pick it up for yourself, that's an affiliate link. So, I guess I get a little bit of the, uh, price tag to me. And, um, yeah. Or you can just go ahead and bit, get whatever you want, because, um, it's on it. Amazon, and that's basically how Amazon affiliate links uh, work the last I checked. So, um, that's another route you can take to uh, support this channel financially if you uh, want to. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 4 p.m. Oh, 4.30 p.m. That's the time, US. So, um, see you then. Bye.